I think today is an important step, but I, it's also important to recognize that regardless of what the decision was going to be today, uh, the Clark family uh, has lost a son, a grandson, a brother, a father, and us as a community um, have lost a young man, and us as a police department, we've lost a young man. And there's no way to comprehend, for me to fully comprehend what the family's going through, because that's never happened to me. Sacramento Police Chief Daniel Hahn saying there is deep grief being felt across Sacramento after the district attorney's decision. But he points to the fact the DOJ's decision has not been made yet. I mean, I watched it just along with everybody else and heard all those, uh, the opinions and uh, the analysis for the first time, just like everybody else. So I was digesting that um, with the rest of our community. Um, on one hand, um, it seemed like a thorough um, uh, delivery of, of the facts. And so um, I have no reason to believe that it wasn't a thorough um, review. But other than that, it would be um, not appropriate for me to comment much more because we're still waiting on the Attorney General's review. And obviously in this case, which is not typical, um, where a district attorney and an attorney general are reviewing the case, um, his role in this case is the same as hers, is to determine whether this was within the law or not. And so um, we're hoping to see that soon. We reached out to Javier Becerra's office to get an update on where their independent review stands. We were told, quote, to protect its integrity, we cannot comment on ongoing investigations. Well, as somebody that's lived here my whole life, I love this uh, city and I love this department. And right now we're challenged. And right now um, we have lost some trust over this. We lost a young man. The Clark family obviously loved a loved one. So, uh, you know, it's not like everything's going to be fine tomorrow and we realize that. But um, as the police chief in both a city and a department that I love, my commitment is how, how do we um, do things together that will prevent this in the future and uh, have something positive come out of this so it's not just a tragedy.